Welcome back, guys, to watching another episode of Botello Outdoors. Your host, Chris Botello, out here today on the Hubbard Lakes. But uh, I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, kind of went through all the different lakes, and we had some rain two days ago, and the water was chocolate milk on all of them except one. Check it out. It's a smaller, it's the smallest body of water out of these chains of lakes, but uh, it's the only one that's clear right now. So, oh look, got Sophie with me today. So we're gonna get on the boat. I fished this pond, or I'm gonna say a pond, or small lake before off the bank and caught some dinks. Really don't know what's really in it, like up in the different areas, up by the dam. So, uh, well actually this is the dam on this side. So I know number one feeds into this one. This one, I don't think feeds into three. Three feeds into four, four feeds into five. So uh, it's a chain of lakes here. We're gonna see what's in it. Me and Self about to get in the boat and uh, see if we can get hooked up on some. Here, uh, it's, what is today? December, I'm looking at my phone, I don't even know. It's like the 17th, so uh, it's almost, winter bass fishing pretty much is winter bass fishing here in texas so uh anyways we're gonna get in here and see if we can get on this winter bite Guys, our first winter bass here. Caught it on the Ned rig. Ooh, this sucker is cold. Look at that. Look at that, Sophie. Look, look. Look at that little chunk. <laughs> little chunk. It is a dink. Give it a kiss, Sophie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this sucker feels like a cold brick. Show you what I'm using. Got a med rig on one sixth ounce, actually. I wanted to get down pretty quick. I got it on braid. Got it on a, uh, a Z Man. Oh, I got it on there actually crooked. Let's see if I can straighten it. With a uh, Kitek. Not a Kitek. Am I saying? Seismic grub. K shad and a three inch. So uh, I honestly I don't know. This is gonna be the bite. You know, this is the first catch. Try to straighten this out a little bit. Maybe get a little bit better action. Just a little a little bang on it. You know, throw it right back out where I where I was at. Oh, I just so, had uh, one, he let go. One he let go. Let me go back over there and see if we can get him. I'm expecting that bite right there. Oh. At all, I wasn't expecting that bite. I have two lines out in the water. I think they're going to want a Texas rig bite. Lost another one, guys. <sighs> Get this line out, too. Oh, he's going to get tangled up in my other one. <sighs> awesome. Get in here. Ned rig fish. This one's a little bit better. Oh, this is it just come off. Look at it. Winter bass. Ah, oh, cold. Whew. Ice cold on the very bottom. Ned rig. Look for mud bottoms in the guts and the bowls of ponds, tanks, creeks. Turn this off real quick. 
And that's where they're going to be at, guys, at the very, very bottom. Quit, Sophie. But I caught this one again on the med rig, just bouncing it on the bottom. Just I have both lines out, actually, guys. I'm fishing with two lines out in the water, just letting them sink to the bottom. The med rig, I'm bouncing. And the, uh, the Texas rig, I got a 16th ounce weight. Quit, Sophie. Biting my line with this uh, seismic grub. And at the very bottom, guys. I was just letting the wind drift me a little bit. I had it cast it out. Looked like a sweet spot there. This line looks a little tight. Let's see if there's anything on it. I got a good one. Pulling me to beat. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Just drifting. Oh, this little tank has got some big ones in it. Choked and swallowed it. Wow. A drift technique. One line out drifting, and the other line deep on the bottom. <laughs> Let me get the release. There it goes. Alright, let's try this again. Drift technique. What it is, is like this is a pond over here behind me and this is like a break right here. Maybe been a road or another, it was two different dams at one time or something. I don't know because we got a bowl, mud bottom over here and then over here, mud bottom. So I'm going to go work my way towards that other mud bottom. While we're drifting that way, I'm going to leave that line out. Cast through this deep part over here. So, I'm guessing that's what it was. Maybe two ponds at once. At one time they made into two. I don't know. Oh, I'm getting nailed right here, guys. Getting nailed. Hitting it. I can feel my line. He might be on it. Nope. Well, guys, this is real. This winter fishing is tough. I cannot get a bite since that last fish. No, I'll take that back. I got two bites, but they do not want to take it. All right, guys, I'm beached up. Uh, it's tough, tough little lake. Uh, like I said, it's really the only time I've really fished it. I fished it off the bank a couple of times, but maybe caught two or three fish total out of it. But uh, fishing in tough conditions right now, you know, this winter bite, they were deep, subtle bites, barely moving it, or dead sticking that Ned rig uh, was kind of the ticket there. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to get off the water, get everything put up. Hope you enjoyed it. No, it wasn't a bunch of catches, but oh well. Need to put some content. Need to get out of that tree stand for a little bit. So, uh, anyways, give me a like, thumbs up. Catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bobo Tolo Outdoors. Look, Sophie's ready to go back. She done went. She done got back in the boat. Come on, girl. Let's go. You ready to go? You ready to go?